Hi there, Elizabeth from Norway here with a new tutorial on Easter cards, all based on this egg shape I did in my uh, tutorial uh, eggs, egg uh, looping. Uh, these are four different uh, techniques and the first uh, card is almost like a cast card with uh, some liver leaf and some catkins and uh, uh, some gold uh, around the egg. Uh, this other one is a stencil I made out of the egg shape and I did all the uh, stamping inside of the, um, of the stencil. I will show you later how I did that, it's very easy. And this one is my usual messy style with uh, kind of uh, tulips inside the uh, egg. Uh, yeah, you can see it's, it's a really nice background and it's really messy but uh, I like it, it's watercolorish. Uh, and the last one is with these really lovely bunnies I never use and it's like a rat, rat, I don't know how to pronounce that but you know what I mean. And some lavender and some uh, catkins. They are fairly easy to make, all of them actually, so uh, let's uh, have a look at the materials uh, first of all. I've used, uh, uh, for the first card, I've used this uh, from the Whimsical Hair set. Uh, and this uh, garden poppy and this uh, fairy catkins. Uh, the card number two, the one in the uh, stencil, is just this um, uh, wine branch. I've used pieces of the wine branch or, or just the leaves. The small lily and this uh, mini uh, leaf. As you can see, I've just used the leaf and I colored it in and yeah, I think it's kind of, <laughs> kind of nice actually. Uh, the third card is the one with the uh, hairs, uh, it's just, uh, or not hairs, it's uh, bunnies. I've used these bunnies, some lavender and uh, the uh, fairy catkins. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce midnight mandering, meandering, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean, it's the bunnies. And for this uh, tulip card, I've used the... Um, uh, 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 bell flower and uh, this leaf spray uh, for the straws. My uh, paper is as usual watercolor, 300 GSM and it's cold press and each piece is 9.5 times 14.5 centimeters. So for my inks, as usual I use my Versafine Clear. I've used Nocturne for the uh, hair and uh, some uh, uh, some uh, morning mist for some uh, stamping like the catkins and also uh, three the three greens i got the verdant uh, shady lane and the rainforest that's for the um, straws on the tulip card i mostly used uh, distress uh, inks this time uh, because i wanted a water soluble uh, ink because uh, I'm going to use a lot of water, like uh, so it goes uh, watercolorish uh, like. Uh, for the uh, Distress inks, I've used uh, a couple of blues, uh, a brown one, a dark brown one, a green one, uh, a violet one, this uh, and this um, yellow, and also a pink one. You can use whatever color you have, but uh, I like these colors. Uh, my uh, watercolors these times are the Rembrandt. I, n I never use my Rembrandt. It's because um, it's not so many colors there, but there's a few I really, really like, like this uh, yellow. Um, this um, It's really, really bright and I really, really love that uh, yellow. Uh, so for the uh, watercolors, I've used Gamboge. Uh, this is, that's the yellow one. Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, uh, also Paints Grey and two greens, uh, Permanent Green and Sap Green. And also a blue one, Ultramarine. And my lovely Daniel Smith. I really, really like those two colors. The uh, violet and this opera pink, especially the pink. <laughs> I love that color. I can never mix that color myself. And I, it's, it, it's one of my best buys, I think. Uh, some pens, my Posca's white and um, uh, yellow. Uh, this uh, jelly roll in uh, uh, purple for some dotting, you know uh, you know me, I need my dots and also my white uh, uniball uh, for some more dotting and some shading and my pencil, I use a really soft pencil, uh, this is 2B which is really really soft and my fine liner, black fine liner, liner. Uh, some quick glue and uh, some uh, bling and I've made this uh, tulips, uh, tulip 
card uh, with a, some texture. So I need some salt for it uh, to, to make this uh, background uh, texture. Texture. And uh, my uh, acrylic uh, gold. I've edged uh, the cards with my acrylic gold uh, paint and uh, I really like that. It, it makes the card stand a bit uh, out when it's uh, matted on this uh, black uh, uh, background. I use a little finger job for this. And my bottle of water of course and my um, uh, brushes. I've used these two brushes. They are uh, pure sable brushes and they're really really soft and I love uh, working with them. They hold a lot of water actually. Uh, I did some gold foiling on the first card and I found this it's actually a uh, gold foiling for uh, nails uh, that I just had uh, laying around and I I thought I, <laughs> I'd try to use that on a card because I mean if I can use it why not because it's just uh, I've just put it in a drawer and never used it before so uh, it worked <laughs> so um, yeah I, I also used a few q-tips for um, uh, for w when I was stamping so these were the four cards we are going to make in this tutorial and I really do hope you will uh, join me. They are fairly easy to make and I will show you step by step how it's done of course and uh, yeah it was great fun and if you don't want to make all the four you could make maybe two and then batch make it because it's they are fairly easy and takes doesn't take a long time to do. So let's uh, start. For the sentiments, uh, is, uh, it's, I printed out the sentiments uh, on, the, on the watercolor paper. I just put it all into my piece, uh, computer and then uh, sized it up and then I'm going to cut it in four, uh, four uh, cards. Uh, this, uh, um, this font is uh, f uh, called, called I Love uh, Glitter and the swatches, uh, swirls, I don't know what you call it, in the in the front and in the end of the words are done with the brackets. It's a left bracket in front of the first letter and a, and a right bracket at the end. And you make those brackets, if you don't know that, the Windows shortcut is uh, for the left one uh, Alt plus 009 and for the right one it's uh, Alt and 0093 and you get these uh, brackets. You find this uh, font on the on www.font.com. If you like, you can take a screenshot uh, of this uh, now. So, uh, by the way, uh, to download from this uh, website, it's uh, free of charge, and they have a loads and loads of really really nice uh, fonts. You you should uh, you should go in there and see what they are like. So I've cut the papers uh, paper down to four pieces, nine point five times fourteen point five uh, centimeters, and we can start uh, making those uh, lovely cards. First of all, I'm going to tell you how I did the egg. I did uh, the egg uh, as in the tutorial egg a la lupin. Then I scanned this egg into my computer and uh, printed it out from my computer. Then, Because then I can manipulate the egg uh, uh, size uh, how I want it. Uh, then I uh, printed it out and I scanned this into my scan and cut machine and I took a piece of uh, mylar to make this uh, stencil. Uh, I did it on a piece of mylar because I wanted to reuse it as often as I want because this size is a quite uh, a nice size for uh, a card. So that's how I did this. Um, this. So let's uh, start making the first uh, card. Dawn when you are darkest I you 
first card finished that was fun now over to card uh, number two and this time i used this um, uh, stencil i made and i just uh, taped it on a piece of paper so i can move it around and i'm going to use the lily uh, lily and this uh, wine branch only the leaves on the wine branches actually and i'm using uh, this uh, green distress oxide for this i take i take off uh, so only the leaves are left on this um, uh, wine branch uh, with uh, Q-tips. <laughs> I find that uh, dipped in, a, in water, I find that it, this is very easy to do actually. Uh, so I'm just um, putting down some leaves uh, in uh, around this, um, this uh, stencil. And I'd, I'm wiping off whatever comes on, on the outside of the stencil as much as I can so I don't smudge. Then I take this uh, lily and I uh, stamped it up with uh, some yellow uh, to to make this uh, flower. It's it's not it's tulip like uh, flower, and then I will show you how to activate uh, uh, activate this uh, with uh, water later on. I'm just filling up this uh, stencil with uh, flowers and some um, leaves, uh, just like this. It looks uh, nice. 
so I think we can start with the, the colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the water inside these uh, flowers and then I'm going to uh, dip uh, some pink in it when it's still wet and let the water color do, do its uh, thing as you can see. And it looks great, doesn't it? And it's so easy, it's so, so easy to make shades if you do it like this, wet on wet. This, uh, this painting method is called wet on wet. And I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves, the using uh, darker green and uh, uh, yellow, <laughs> as you can see here. It looks uh, really nice. And I'm going to fill out the empty spaces with some dots of uh, leaves with some diluted uh, uh, water and then my uh, second card is uh, finished and I really like this actually and it was so so easy you can do it no problem
up in knots Karma keeps me cautious And bourbon keeps me brave Uh, almost finished I just need some finishing and touches on these cards and I really really like this this is maybe the the egg the stencil with the um, with the flowers inside of the stencil I think that is my favorite of these uh, four four cards and it was so easy as you can see I did make some shadows and some more splatters on the tulip card it needed that actually but I will do this finishing touches and I will be back uh, very soon. <laughs> Okie dokie. So guys, that's it. I've matted all the cards with some uh, black uh, cardstock and they're really popping with the uh, gold framing around it. Oh, I do love the liver leaf. Look at those colors on these liver leaves. Norway is packed full of liver leaves during uh, uh, spring and it's so, so beautiful. I really, really like uh, the colors. The pink, uh, violet, uh, uh, purple, bluish. Uh, uh, it's so nice. And this card, it was so easy to do within the, the stencil, uh, painting wet on wet. You just need to make uh, the water do its own thing and it will get a really, really nice uh, result. Use contrasting colors like this and it will, they, it will be really, really nice. I like this card as well. The bonus, I never do the bonus, uh, use the bonus. Um, and, and with this uh, red, I, I did uh, make... Um, second generation with the purple uh, uh, distress ink just to uh, fill out the rush a little bit it needed that it was a little bit uh, scarce so um, yeah <laughs> it just needed it so i so i added some and the last card the tulip card is my style of card my background i usually do backgrounds like this as you know and it's it looks like a watercolor painting i think i did uh, make some shadows uh, under the egg and some more splatters but i really like this card as well um yeah it's a kind of messy but it's uh, it's nice it looks like a watercolor uh, painting doesn't it <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you will give it a go and if you are wondering about something as usual you just uh, send me a pm and i will i will answer you as uh, quickly as i can uh, i'm not sh quite sure if i'm gonna make another um, piece next week we will see but 
in the meantime, have a lovely week. Do art, be brave and have lots and lots of fun. That's the most important. So see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Some days are good